Hello guys and welcome back. So in the last section we created a custom validator which was synchronous in nature but there might be times when in, uh, you might have to call a web API to or a service to uh, or a REST API to check for some values and then based on the response of, from that API then you might have to show um, the user an error in that case. So for that purpose we can use asynchronous validators as well in Angular's reactor forms and uh, that is something that we are going to create right now. So we will create a uh, we will create a static method again, but this time we'll just call it async unique, which would again uh, have a control object, which is of type abstract control, and this instead of directly returning validation errors or null it would return a promise that would wrap a validation errors object or null or simply null for that matter so now in this case we'll just return a new promise which takes a callback function inside which we have uh, two functions that can be called one would be a resolve block so like this and one would be reject like this okay now just to um, just to like uh, simulate that this uh, was a service call and it took a few seconds we are just going to use the set timeout method and in this we are going to call a method after two seconds let's let's make this five for now okay so now let's just check uh, we'll we'll use the same logic here that we had at the unique uh, validator but instead of now passing in or returning these things here we will be calling the resolve method with these fields so we will resolve with an object that contains a key named uh, async unique this time and a value of true if the value of this is going to be cold or we'll resolve with null otherwise in that case. Let's save this. And now to use this uh, inside my component class, I will add one more field to it. I'll name this custom validations dot async unique like so. Let's just get rid of this so that both of them don't really clash with each other. And I'm going to um, copy this, but I'll just comment this out for reference. And now in this case, we'll say um, async unique and we'll just specify that the username must be unique in this case. So now if I save this and go back to the application and if I type in the username as old, let's wait for about five seconds till this gets um, checked. And after five seconds, we get the username must be unique. Let's try that again. And after five seconds the error gets printed okay so this is uh, one sort of a um, asynchronous validator that can be used now let's say if uh, for the time it was fetching the details from the server we need to show a placeholder text like uh, something like this which says checking from checking for uniqueness from server values okay so if we wanted to show this in here in the form then right now it would be visible always but that is something that we don't really need but then uh, whenever a form is checking or a form control is being checked for a particular uh, value then its state goes to pending uh, and the class ngf and pending is also appended here 
so let's check that quickly so we can see that ng hyphen pending is appended to it and we will also be able to have uh, a pending attribute or a pending property specified on this username field that can be used so we can check for that so i'll do an ng if so if uh, username dot pending then we need to show this message right here like so now if i go back it should um, uh, give us a proper improved user experience username dot pending okay now it's uh, gone so let's say i type in old so it says uh, checking for uniqueness from server values and after five seconds the placeholder message removes gets removed and now we see the error message on the screen uh, and if i go back and type in folder then it checks and after five seconds it automatically gets uh, removed from the zone so this is how uh, you can use asynchronous validators to um, check for uniqueness or some other use case of this sort in a reactor form in the next video we are going to talk about how we can uh, basically uh, clean up the form just by a click of a button so i'll see you guys in the next video